Hey boys and girls. So we have been talking a lot about traveling, obviously. And today we're gonna to be talking about imagination, where our brains take us. Now, Ms. Wolaszczyk has a super special story. Oh, got a little dented. A super special story that I want to share with you today. And look here, it's called Dory Story. Now this little boy here, he goes on an adventure. And I want you to be paying attention to his adventure because he uses his imagination. So during this story, I want you to be listening and looking for how he uses his imagination. Got it? All right. This story is called Dory Story. Oops, here we go. My mom and dad always told me, you're just a kid, so don't ever go out on the boat alone. But one night I learned about plankton. These tiny sea creatures are invisible during the day, but sometimes after dark, they light up and I wanted to learn more. The next morning, the ocean was flat and calm. I couldn't resist. I pushed the dory, the dory is a boat. I pushed the dory out and decided to row to the big rock in the middle of the bay. That's part of the ocean. As I rode, I noticed dozens of seabirds circling around. Grandpa says that where there are seabirds, there are fish. So I kept on rowing. I looked over the side of the dory. I saw hundreds and hundreds of tiny shrimp swimming. I guess that the little shrimp were eating the plankton. As I rode toward the big rock, I saw schools of sand lances. That's fish. Some people call these fish sand eels. The sand eels were chasing and eating the shrimp. <gasps> I heard something splashed and I looked over the bow of the boat. I heard more splashes. I looked closer and saw mackerels chasing and eating sand eels. Then I saw them, blue fish, yikes. The blue fish were swimming like crazy and eating the mackerels. It was a feeding frenzy. Blue fish have super sharp teeth. I learned that the hard way. Last year, I put my fingers into the mouth of a blue fish to pull out my hook. Zap, I had to get four stitches. I stood up in the dory to watch the show, wait, to watch the show the blue fish were turning on. Suddenly, five huge tuna appeared in the bay. The tuna were chasing and eating the bluefish. I began to worry. Maybe going out in the boat alone wasn't such a good idea. The tuna were almost as long as the boat. I've been scared a few times, but I was terrified when killer whales came into the bay chasing the tuna. I didn't know what to do, but it all started to make sense. Killer whales eat tuna, tuna eat bluefish, bluefish eat mackerels, mackerels eat sand eels, sand eels eat shrimp, and shrimp eat plankton. I knew one thing, I didn't want to become part of the food chain. Help, where's my mommy? Just as I decided to row back to shore, whammo! A humongous humpback whale breached, that means it came out of the water, right in front of me. But wait, humpback whales don't eat killer whales. Humpback whales eat plankton and krill, some of the tiniest creatures in the ocean. The food chain is really more like a food web. I should have been smart like the seals and stayed near shore. The harbor seals were sent, had sensed the danger and pulled themselves out of the water to escape the killer whales. All of a sudden, a killer whale swam by chasing a tuna. The tuna jumped out of the water and smashed into my dory. Bam! Oh no, I was capsized. Thank goodness I have my life jacket on. I should have stayed with the boat to wait for help, but I was scared and I started swimming. I swam through the shrimp, the eels, the mackerels, the bluefish, the tuna, the killer whales, and the humpback whale. It was cold. I had water in my nose, but I kept swimming towards that rock in the middle of the bay. Oh, I made it. 
I pulled myself up by grabbing onto the seaweed. Just then, I heard my mom's voice. Danny, you tell the best stories when you're in the bathtub. You should write a book. The end. Oh, round of applause. What happened in our story? Yeah, was, was Danny really in the water? No, so I want you to tell me below, how did you see that Danny used his imagination? Let me know.